Hey guys, how are ya? I know it's been a while since my last video, but I promise really soon I'm going to get back on a regular schedule once this semester is over, which is killing me. Many of you who follow me on Twitter have been asking me questions over the past few weeks that I've promised I will answer in videos, and this is going to be the first of many. I got many more questions than I was expecting to. I thought it would make a little more sense for me to break them up into individual videos, and if there were a bunch of questions about the same thing, then I would put them all in one video. That way it gives you guys more exposure and allows me to talk a little bit longer about each topic. Anyway, this first one is actually going to be about the iPhone 4, which I've never actually addressed formally on YouTube. And I think it was late September, early October, I did pick up an iPhone 4. You guys saw it in my Steve Jobs tribute and I think one other video. But so here are the top four questions from the tech Q&A that had to do with the iPhone 4. Okay, so the first question is by Hank, known as Logically Tech on Twitter, and he asks, what piece of technology do you most frequently use? And I have to say the iPhone 4. It used to be my MacBook Pro, but ever since picking up the iPhone 4, this has kind of become my portable computer of sorts. And I find it really convenient to be able to just put down my Mac sometimes and get away from the chaos and distractions that are on there and just strictly go on the internet, just relax and unwind on the iPhone 4. The second question was submitted to us by Bob, known as CPU Kid on Twitter, and he asked, do you see yourself switching from the iPhone 4 to a similar smartphone in the foreseeable future? The answer is gonna have to be no. I have played around with the Android operating system at Best Buy, which is where I work, and I don't know, I just love iOS. I know I'm gonna sound like a huge Apple person, and I am, so that's fine. I, I felt a little overwhelmed when the Verizon person handed it to me, but then when I looked at it, I was like, this is so simple. Picking up things like text messaging and Phone calls and stuff was just so intuitive. And the iPhone 4 just seems like it works the way it should. And the way you want to use it, the way you want to move your hand and, and touch things, it, it all works that way. So I don't know, that's the reason that I love the iPhone 4 and why I wouldn't switch to any other mobile operating system at this point. Okay, the next question is by Steven, known as Tech Johnson on Twitter. And he asks, what's your favorite iOS application? Now that's a really hard question to answer because I have four pages of apps on my iPhone. I love different apps out there. One that I find myself really loving the concept of is Oink by Kevin Rose. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. Take pictures of things and write things within where you are. So it's not really Foursquare. It's more like a rating application for anything that you could come across. It allows you to start to think differently when you're looking around things. I found myself wanting to rate services and stuff like that and non-tangible things. I'm probably gonna start doing videos showing off the iPhone apps that I come across that I find really cool. I have some really cool astrology apps or horoscope apps that I really like. But for now, I'm gonna go with Oink as my favorite. Okay, so the final question comes to us from my friend Jason who is known as Loser Luigi on Twitter. And it says, if, you, if I were to get the new iPhone 4S, what accessories should I get? In what case will give me the best protection? In terms of accessories, it's kind of a preference thing. I mean, you definitely wanna get some kind of sound dock or something for when you're at home and wanna use it to listen to music. I use what, an iPhone live sound dock which you guys can see in my techie college video if you do a search for that in terms of a case right now i'm using a silicone one by belkin i also have an in case slider in that drawer which i really like and i felt really really safe with that thing i dropped it a couple times with the slider on and it was very safe and as you guys know i'm a really big fan of in case hard cases so that would definitely be something to check out if you're looking for protection other than that you're probably going to want some kind of like fm transmitter or something to play it in your car which is an awesome thing and one thing i highly highly recommend is getting a car charger because I do have the wall charger which is nice but when it becomes your phone the battery goes so much quicker than when you had an iPod. So guys those are all the iPhone 4 questions that I got in the tech Q&A series. I want you guys to feel free to leave me more questions. You can leave them in the comments below or send them to me on Twitter. If you send them on Twitter make sure you add the hashtag askg5 so that I can organize them a little better. Anyway thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, all those fun places and until then goodbye.